there it is. New music from yeah. Carlton Zeus, who joins us in the studio right now. What's going on, man? So glad to be here, man. Zeus, so you got a new album coming out too here? So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost, right? There, right? right Carlton Zeus, big show tonight at the Aztec Theater. That's you right. should definitely go down and check him out there. Actually, speaking of the Aztec Theater, y'all got to go down there and do that thing you do. What thing do we do? The ghost thing, the haunted... Oh, the Russell yeah, Rush yeah. Haunted Tour. Wait, you know one. about that? Yes, I, I, I watch it all the time with the lights on. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah. I didn't, I've never heard any ghost stories about the Aztec Theater, though. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, and they got some new people there, too, that, you know, they've been having their own... Situations, really? you should you should check them out for sure. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks for the tip, man. Since you know about haunted tour, yeah. oh, what about dropping a little haunted tour freestyle? Yeah, I could here? do that. I could do all that. All right, Carlton Zeus on the Russell Rush haunted tour. Let's go. All right, all right. Lone Star Carnivore, Five Star Resort, Balsamic Connoisseur. Me and Russell Rush headed to the haunted tour, trying to resurrect the spirit of Selena, iconic star. Carlton Zeus on Mix ninety six point one. What more can you ask yeah! for, baby? Carlton Bones. Zeus. As it turns out, Carlton was right. The Aztec was excited to hear from us and eager to have us investigate. They didn't go into detail, but here we are. Normally, we'd enter through the front door just like everybody else, but not this time. We've been told to come in through the backstage entrance. You know, probably a VIP thing. Next to the dumpsters? Where am I? I have no idea where we're going. I'm supposed to meet up with Brianna from their production team, if I can ever find her. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? What the? Oh, God. Please, God, tell me that was a person. Hang on one second. Whew. Thank God. So sorry. I hope you're okay. You didn't hurt yeah, yourself, did you? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I may need to use the bathroom now, but I'm, I'm good. Uh, are you by chance Brianna? I am. I'm Russell. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, good to <laughs> meet bad. you, I, I think. <laughs> so what's going on here? Oh, uh, you know, just the typical creepy stuff at a theater. And, yeah. you know, partially the reason why we have you here is we just want to find out what it is. It's crazy because I, I've come here for a show before, but I've never heard any ghost stories. So is it real? It's real. Okay. Um, well, if you promise to keep your hands off the light switches, you want to show me around? Yep, I promise. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. Okay. As I closely monitor Brianna's hands, she leads me on a tour of the Aztec. Built in 1926 as part of San Antonio's theater district, the Aztec was state-of-the-art for its day. In fact, the theater's grand opening was such a big deal and so well attended, they had to turn thousands away. People clamored to catch a glimpse of the elaborate Aztec and Mayan architecture. The theater hosted silent films, vaudeville shows, and was even the first theater in San Antonio to have a midnight showing. So has it always been a theater? No, it fell into disrepair and then it was abandoned in the 1980s. Um, and it was only until recently, like the past five years, that it's been a music venue. Yeah. Oh, wow. The design of this theater is stunning. The chandelier was installed the day the stock market crashed, and I think they valued it at 1.1 million back then. Man, I mean, I, I've been here for a show before, but I, I guess I never noticed it, because, you know, normally I just head straight for the bar. Well, it's funny that you mentioned the bar, because that's one of the spots where we've had activity. So one night, Brian, the manager, was closing. Now, mind you, this was at like 2 or 3 in the morning, so no one else is in this venue. No one. He's wiping down this counter, and all of a sudden, he heard, get out. And he traced it to this corner back here. Like with his own ear? Yeah. Of course, it scared him. And so he went to check all of the doors to make sure that they're all locked, that he's the only one in here. And they're all locked. So he kind of just grabbed his stuff and uh, left. So it almost seems like whatever's here uh, isn't all that friendly. It's, uh, it's a little creepy. 
And the guys with the glowing red eyes certainly don't help. No. It's alarming they're hearing things out loud in real time. It could mean there's something extremely powerful here. We really need to find out what else is going on. So what do you think happened here that led it to be haunted? We're not too sure. We just took this menu over about a year ago, so everything's pretty new to us. What kind of other stuff happens? Well, um, on the risers, we hear footsteps, and it's constant. Is there something under there? Or? No, it's dead space underneath the risers. But we do have an elevator where we can bring artists up to stage on. Wait, did she just say stage elevator? Definitely gonna have to ride that later. But other than that, everything's dead space. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the spirit that yelled get out to somebody in the lobby bar. We're hearing the walking on the risers. Is that it? Up in the balcony, up against the wall. If you ever look up there, you're always gonna see shadows. Your, your eye's always drawn to that right hand corner. Even when you're on stage, that's the one thing that your eye goes to. Well, you've seen shadow people. Yeah. Okay, who do you think it could be? This might sound crazy, but we think it's Spooks. I'm sorry, Spooks? Yeah, we think it's him. And it's a guy? Yeah, I've seen him. You've seen him? I've seen him. Where? I've seen him up in the catering room upstairs. Can we go take a look? Yeah, of course. They named the ghost Spooks. I had no idea things were this serious. But it also is the best lead I've had to see something. Now I'm all in. So this is the upstairs catering room. This is where the artist goes and hangs out before they perform. Um, and this is where I first saw Spooks. He was actually standing right where you're standing. All right, pardon me, Spooks. Yeah. As I'm walking up the stairs, I saw the shadow man. He was standing right here. He was facing me. Just a shadow man. It was completely dark. You couldn't make out his face. Couldn't make out a face, and he just stepped right out of the way. Brianna seems pretty certain of what she saw. But who is this man? Definitely gonna have to look into that. How does this all make you feel? Of course, it's a little unsettling at times when you experience it for the first time, like when you first see spooks or if you hear the footsteps. As a team, we just want to feel like we're not crazy, like everything we've heard or- You have validation that yeah. something is going on here. Yeah. Well, we can never predict what happens, uh, but we'll give it a shot. I'm blown away. No way did I expect all this activity to be going on. I hope the team's ready. Sometimes, it's the places you least expect. As darkness falls, the electric glow from the theater sign begins to light up the night sky, and the team rolls in. I get nice. I get Wow. This old theater is incredible. This is going to be fun. I can't get over how big it is. It's kind of creepy all empty like this. I'm not going to lie. Hey, where's Russell at? Supposed to be here. Hey, this isn't just any investigation, all right? This is a theater. And at the theater, you got to make an entrance. However, I may have mistimed the speed of this entry. What's up, guys? Jell, nice hat. Wow, and I thought Jell's hat was ridiculous. All right, guys, we're at the Aztec Theater here in downtown San Antonio, Texas tonight, opened in 1926. And they've had everything in here from vaudeville to silent films, it was a movie theater for a while then it was abandoned, and now it's a live music venue. But the group that took it over recently, they've been experiencing some really weird stuff, and they kind of want to know what's going on here. They've had employees get verbally abused and told to get out by some unknown presence. They've seen shadows in the upper balcony, footsteps they've heard across these front risers here. They've even seen a full body apparition of a man in the upstairs green room. So Kendra, have we figured out anything tragic that may have happened here that have led to a haunting? Back in the 1930s, there was a few bombings where bombs were thrown into the audience, but no casualties. I wonder if the man they've been seeing is William Epstein. He worked this place for years. He didn't die here, but he may still be connected to the place. Daryl, we gotta catch that guy. We gotta make sure our cameras are on point. No problem, Russell. We'll be ready. All right, let's get to it. As the team works to set up equipment, I've called in some backup to help us figure out what's going on in the theater. Clairvoyant, 
Gareth Pendragon. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty ornate. It is. Gareth has worked with law enforcement and the FBI in the past. He's even hit on big stuff with us before. If anyone can help us determine what we're about to deal with, he can. Do you get a, a feeling of anything? Images of lots of people, 1920s, 1930 period. See some of the people in that type of attire. Also, my uh, initial sense is of a, a number of um, presences here, like spirits. Been here a while. Interesting. There's an image of a man. He's dressed kind of nice, but he doesn't feel nice. He travels in here. And then there's a woman. Why is she here? Feels like more like her end of life happened here. Really? If I gave you a name, would that help? Possibly. Is William Epstein here? He looked up when you said that. He did? Yeah. So open that location. He's definitely possessive. He did not own this place, um, but he acts like he does. Is he not happy with the way the theater has gone? Mm. Strange, he likes the prosperity of the theater, but it's almost like he has a chip on his shoulder. That he did it better? Sort of, um, but he also did some wrong here. Okay, let me, let me just zero this possibility out. Was there anyone killed in this theater? Yes. There was? Yes. A murder? We found no information about a murder here, but that doesn't mean one didn't happen. I'm getting a definite yes. This lady, for example, there was an image of some blood. Yet another piece of the puzzle to keep in mind for the investigation. Back at command, Daryl finishes linking the cameras that will be our eyes over the entire theater during the investigation. Russell wants to see something? Cool. We literally have cameras everywhere in the building. On all the stairs, we have motion sensors that'll light up in case anything walks by. Good luck hiding from us tonight, spooks. As the teams get set, Vanessa takes her place behind the screen in command. Unfortunately, Ben couldn't be with us tonight. He had to run home for a family emergency, so we will all be taking turns tonight at command. We're all a little worried about Ben, and it sucks to start an investigation this way. We're kind of superstitious when it comes to the call. But Vanessa has a plan. The teams wait nervously on standby, oblivious to the familiar voice they're about to hear. All right, team one, are you ready at exposition? Which was? It's Ben. Team one is ready. What's up, Ben? Team three, are you ready and in position? We are ready to go, Ben. All right, guys. You know what time it is. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. We are a go for the Aztec Theater. Daryl and Kendra work their way through the bowels of the theater to the upper balcony where there's been claims of constant shadow figures. We've been told that when people are on stage, their eyes are drawn to this top corner for some reason. They are seeing shadows. But the skeptic in me says there's got to be a logical answer. If you're looking from down there and you look up here. You see this. You see that against the dark background. There's also that uh, lamp right there too, or light. Well, from down there, it looks like if you just catch it, it looks like that's a head. And, this and is maybe the like body. a torso. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you. Put the K2 there and see if there's anything up here. I'm pretty sure people's eyes are playing tricks on them. What they're seeing on that back wall are things that make it look like a person. There's nothing paranormal going on here. If there's somebody up here, can you make those lights go up to number three? One, two, three. There's two. Thank you. Or maybe there is. Can you make those lights go up for me? People see you standing up here. I don't know. 
It stopped. While Team One attempts to duplicate the get out herd near the bar, Jell has escaped unnoticed for an alone session in the warrior room. Hey, Spooks, are you here? If you're here with me, can you come really close and talk to me? Knock. What'd you say? As Jell is calling out to the darkness, she not only hears a response, her voice recorder also picks up this startling EVP. Oh, goosebumps. It's a little unnerving to be alone in a room and hear that, but I really want to know who it is I'm communicating with. Did you tell me to get out? For a second time, Jell is warned to get out. This time the voice is so loud, the camera's microphone picks it up. Clearly, whatever is in here is not friendly. Time's up for rotation one. The teams move into position to begin the next rotation. Team one is on stage in the theater. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little creeped out in here. Like, like I keep, keep seeing things move in here. Who's here? If you're gonna make some noise and like stomp on something. Do you hear that? It sounds like somebody like walking, right? Team one continues their session on the stage while Jell and Vanessa move to the lobby balcony at the very spot where workers heard someone tell them to get out. This must be where you like to hang out, right over here, huh? Sometimes spirits can be a little bit protective and possessive of their space. Let's see how they feel about us invading. What's up, Spooks, are you around here? Do you have a name that you prefer to be called? Why would you be yelling down to people to get out? Did you want to go home? You were trying to get people out of here so you could get out of here too? Ah! No, don't you Something just karate chopped my ass. Boom, <laughs> like right there and there. Are you trying to Are tell you gel trying to get to out? Push me over? Don't push gel. I thought we were friends, man. She's got other spirits that won't have it. Wow. <laughs> I've had a lot of paranormal experiences in my life, but that is a new one. While Jell works on earning her black belt, Brianna makes her investigation debut near where she first saw spooks. All right, so it's Russell up here with uh, brought Brianna up to the green room. See if maybe her presence can help trigger some sort of activity. Wow, we just had the periscope go off. That periscope never works for me, but two minutes in here with Brianna and it lights up like the rainbow. You saw that, right? I saw that. It lit up. They really like you. From the look on Brianna's face, I probably should have kept that to myself. There's somebody in the bathroom. All of a sudden, just after the periscope goes off, we hear these knocking sounds coming from the bathroom. Whoever's in the bathroom, can you please shut the door? K2, huh? Yeah. You want to communicate through the K2? Yeah? Okay, cool. We can do that. And now the K2's going off. There's something definitely going on here. Are we speaking to the spirit who they refer to as spooks here at the Aztec? If so, then light the next one up. Yep. Spooks, are you a man? Yeah. We seem to be getting some pretty concise answers from something intelligent. I think it's time to go for broke and ask the one question we've been wondering about all night. If we get an answer to this, it'll blow this thing wide open. Spooks, is your real name William Epstein? 
If so, light the next one. I have chills right now. That answers the entire reason we're here tonight. Theater workers want to know who they've seen? Former theater director, William Epstein. Mix 96.1, it's Russell Rush. All right, it's time to reveal what happened at the Aztec Theater. Brianna's here, and Brianna and I now, we share a lot because we experienced something pretty crazy. You were there when the spirit revealed itself to us as William Epstein. That was a crazy experience. How are you feeling after all that? Is that the first time that you realized that this is real? Yes. It was just <laughs> crazy. And hasn't been able to speak since. So how has the theater been since we left? Any further activity? I've seen Spooks again or William. You did um, not? Yeah. Where? The catering room again. He showed himself in the hallway to me. So. Wow. We did confirm there's a man there. Jail caught this EVP just outside the warrior room. Can't make out what he says, so definitely a man there. Now, this next video uh, took place in the upper balcony there, second level, kind of across from where the guys at the bar thought that they heard the get out. Unexplained piece of light, this light anomaly on the ceiling. All of a sudden, this light pops up out of nowhere, stays on the ceiling for a while, and then goes away. Okay. We checked the rest of the cameras. There was nobody else in the lobby at all. The thing that really creeped us out here. We expected to hear about a man. We expected to hear Get Out. We did not expect to hear this. Joey and I were in the uh, upstairs balcony, kind of where people said that they see shadows a lot of the time. And we picked this up. I forgot who you are and help you. Turn it off. Sounds like maybe you have a little kid at the Aztec. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think I, said, I hear a kid. Turn it off. There's something going on at the Aztec Theater. Doesn't seem to be anything bad. Possessive, protective maybe, but not harmful. You guys think you can coexist? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> They're on a first-name basis now. <laughs> well, listen, uh, thank you for all your help with this one. It was a crazy night, and we did not expect to find what we did, so thanks for having us out. Ignorance is bliss, they say. Except when it comes to a haunting. Then you want to know everything. Luckily for the team at the Aztec Theater, we were able to uncover the identity of at least one spirit who's still with them. It's exciting they brought this old theater back to life and, in a way, gave him life again, too. So next time you're at the Aztec for a show, raise your glass and tip your hat to Spooks.